There are several records, of course, at the surface that are derived by different organizations, by NASA, by NOAA, by the UK Met Office, and, uh, and so on. And uh, they're all giving more or less the same story. And so 2015 is showing up as being the warmest year on record uh, by far. It's uh, you know, a couple of tenths of degree Celsius above anything that we've seen before. And that's a lot. The normal changes that we're seeing, so 2014 was previously the warmest on record. Um, but it, you know, it was a few hundredths of a degree warmer than the previous warmest, which was what, 2010 and, uh, and so on. And normally, uh, you know, the overall rise in, in temperature now, we're estimating that it's over one degree Celsius since pre-industrial times. Now, pre-industrial times, you know, maybe the late 1800s even, uh, we don't have those records very reliably. And so most of the records are more reliable, say, after, uh, for the 20th century. And for the 20th century, the temperatures are up about 0.9 degrees Celsius or something like that. So when you're talking about a jump of two-tenths of a degree, um, two-tenths is, is uh, you know, 20% of the total rise over the entire past century, and that's all happened in this past year. The, the normal fluctuations from year to year with El Nino have a maximum amplitude of, of about that order. So anything above about two-tenths of a degree is what we consider significant. So one degree rise in temperature is, is highly significant. It's well outside of the sort of plus or minus two-tenths of a degree that we expect from natural variability. So it'll come down <coughs> a little bit again, but um, I think it's apt to stay up the le at this new level and sort of fluctuate around a new level now. You know, this, this is the way in which it's gone in the past, and I think that's what we can expect.